Okay, so we're at our next lesson, multiples and factors. Okay, so a multiple of a number is found when you multiply that number by a positive integer. Okay, the first multiple of any number, okay, is the number itself. Okay, so that number multiplied by 1. So let's say if we're going to do multiples of 3. 3 times 1 is 3. Second multiple would be 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12, and so on. Okay, so just to recap, we start off with 3 multiplied by 1, that's the first multiple. Okay, times 2, 6 times 3, 9 times 4, 12, and so on. Okay, and you can do this for any number, and um, that will be its times table or it, um, its multiples. So, example, what are the first three multiples of 12? Okay, well, let's do the same thing. 12 times 1 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 12 times 3 is 36. Okay, so same principle applies. Start, with, start off with 12, multiply by 1. Uh, next is times 2. This is 24. 12 times 3 is 36. Right, how do we work out um, whether 300 is a multiple of 12? Okay, so um, in this particular example, what we first need to do is um, we need to divide 300 by 12. Okay, now if it goes exactly or 12 goes exactly into 300 and there's no remainders, okay, that means that. 300 is in, is indeed a multiple of 12. Okay, so if you do this on your calculator, you should get 25. Therefore, the answer is yes. It is a multiple of 12. Right, what about this example? Find the lowest common multiple of 4 and 7. Okay, so we go back to our first rule of multiple, which is we start off with the first number. Okay, 4 times 1. 4 times 2, times 3, and so on. Okay, so I've just listed um, the multiples of 4 here. Okay, multiples of 7, we start off with 7 times 1, times 2, times 3, and so on. Okay, as the question is asking us for the lowest common multiple, we need to find uh, the number that is common to both lists of numbers here, and it's got to be the first one, so the lowest one. So in this case, it would be 28. So the lowest common multiple of 4 and 7 is 28. Now, what are factors? Okay, Factors are essentially any number okay, that divides um, exactly into um, another number with no remainder. So for example, factors of 12 okay, would be 1, 2, 3, 4, or 6, or 12 itself. Okay? Because if you divide 12 by any of these numbers, okay, you would get no remainder. Okay, say for 25, factors of 25 are these three numbers here. Okay, you get no remainder if you divided 25 by any one of them. And 110, these are the factors of the number 110. So, if we were to find the highest common factor of 8 and 24, okay, we would have to list the factors, first of all, of 8 and 24. Okay, so 1, 2, 4, 8, and then 1 to 24, the factors of 24. And basically, we need to find which one is common to both, okay, and is the highest. Now, you will notice there's a 1 common to both, there's a 2 common to both, a 4 common to both, and then there's an 8 common to both. But as 8 is the highest, we say it's the highest common factor. Right, prime factors. Now, um, remember prime numbers are numbers, okay, that can be divided by itself and the number one, okay? However, they can be useful to work out um, prime factors, okay? So, it says, write the following as the product of prime numbers. So, we're going to start off with 36. Now, in this example, okay, 
I'm going to use what we call the tree diagram method. Now, the tree diagram method okay, is like this. So, first of all, I'm going to start with um, 36. So, I'm going to put a 36 there. Okay. Then I'm going to break it down into two factors. So, 36 is 3 times 12. Okay. Now, obviously, the more you do these um, examples, the more better you'll get at um, finding factors. Okay. So I knew 36 was in the 12 times table, so I, um, I also knew it was 312, so that's why I broke it down like this. However, um, you know, it just comes with practice. So I'm going to break down 12 even more because I know 3 is a prime number. Okay, so I don't need, don't need to break 3 down into anything else. Well, what about 12? I know 12 um, is in the 4 times tables, and I know it's 3 times 4. 3 is a prime number as well. Let me break down 4 as well. So, well, 4, I can only think of it going into 2 times table, and 2 is also a prime number. So, we can list the products of the prime numbers um, for 36 as 36 equals 3 times 3 times 2 times 2. Okay. Now, let's do another example. Let's say, remember it was originally actually 48 was the other um, number we had to break down. So, let's do the same thing. So, 48... Okay, um, I know 4 12s go into 48, okay? Now, you'll notice 4 or 12 are neither prime numbers, so what I need to do now, I need to break these down into um, some further numbers. So, 4, 2 times 2, 12 is 3 times 4, 4 is 2 times 2. These are all prime numbers. Okay? And the product of the prime numbers would then therefore be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Yep, the 4 twos times 3. And that gives us 48. Okay? So now you know how to use the tree diagram method to work out the product of prime numbers of those particular numbers 36 and 48. Right, how do we find the highest common factor of 168 and 180? Okay, so again we need to use the product of prime numbers method, okay, and, and basically um, in the last example using the tree diagram method that's how we uh, can work it, work it out. Okay, so in this particular example, I've skipped the tree diagram method, and I've got these numbers, okay? So 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 7 gives us 168, as well as 180 gives us, two, sorry, two, 180 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5, okay? Now... In this particular example, we need to find what is common, okay, to both examples. So th there needs to be the same number in uh, both examples. So as we can see, we've got two twos here, two twos here, one three here, one three here, and basically we just need to multiply uh, those those numbers, okay? Not two lots of them, but those exact numbers. What is common to both? So two times two times three is twelve. Therefore, the highest common multiple is 12. So you can see how useful prime numbers are. Right, lastly, find the lowest common multiple of 72 and 120. So, again, we use the tree diagram method. Okay, so 72 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. 120 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Now, in this particular example, what we need to find 
um, in order to find the lowest common multiple is we look at how many of each number there are present. So what I mean by that is let's look at the first uh, prime number. So the first lowest prime number is 2. Okay, We look at both sets, both lists, we see that there are three twos here and three twos here. Okay, So in order to find our final answer, what we're going to do is we're going to have three lots of two. Okay, bear with me. So it's two times two times two because there's three uh, twos in both sets. Now, what is next? The next highest prime number is three. Now, there's only one three in this list here and there's two threes here. Now, the rule is you've got to multiply the prime number by the um, the largest the most uh, the largest amount it is in any of the lists. Okay, so in this particular case, it's listed twice, or we see it twice. In the bottom list, we just see it once. So therefore, we need to multiply three two times. Okay, so the answer, sorry, so we do uh, times three times three. Okay, then lastly we find a 5 here and no 5 here, okay? So we're not going to do 5 times 0, because that's 0 is smaller than 1, okay? There's one 5 here, so we're going to do, lastly, times 5, okay? And if you do that multiple uh, multiplication, we find that the lowest common multiple, okay? Type that all out on your calculator, is equal to 360, okay? So feel free to look through any of these examples again, uh, re rewind this video, um, and hopefully you have a better understanding of how to use prime numbers.